everybody. So we've got our goggles on. We've got our gloves on. Now it's time to mix some lime water into some oils and make some soap. So let's do a soap video today. All right, I got my stick blender. I gotta buy a new stick blender. I bought two of these. These um, <clears throat> Cook Cuisinart Smart Sticks in the Pink. I'd had two of these that lasted forever, and when they finally broke, I bought two right away, and they fell apart in days, and I've got this one glued together, um, trying to get my money's worth. I don't know, something about something breaking that quick and not getting my money's worth it didn't sit with me at all. Okay, so we've got the little indentions, we've got the holes, we gotta keep that under the oil or we can have spurtage and that once the lye water gets in there, if you spurt it out all over yourself, you're gonna end up having to get it at that lye water off or get burnt. Now, everything that's in this tub is supposed to go in this recipe. And so I find, did you see how it wasn't coming out when I was tapping it? And then I turned it upright and then flipped it back over and here it comes. It did, real, there it goes. So, so make it a tent. And this is three double batches in a turkey cooker, and this will make uh, six times 11 bars. So six times 11, I guess that's 66. And when you see these little swirlies, hang on, we're going in. If you can see those swirlies, that means you've not mixed it good. We've still got either lye water or oil floating on the top. See those? And to prevent squirtage or spraying this stuff all over you, you can with the power off, you can set and swirl the top. All right. Now the same recipes in this one is in the next one, so I'm gonna just plop this over in my other crock because it's the same recipe. And uh, I'm gonna plug up my turkey cooker. And I'm going to put it on 150 degrees. 150 degrees is pretty much as high as you can get. If for some reason you need to pop it up, you can pop it up just a little bit. Boy, you got to watch it because it will actually burn the soap around the edges because this is thin metal, uh, not thick uh, crock pot material. So the heat gets to it much stronger from the elements in the side of the crock pot. All right, here is our turkey cooker, which cooks the slowest, but you can cook a large amount. Um, you can see it here. This is gel. The lye is still active in this. This is soap. The lye is not active in that. So once you get past that, you can take your gloves off. Okay, so this is our slow cooker. And um, I have found, and I just mixed this one up, so I'm not gonna remix it. Uh, using a clean spatula, I have found with these slow cookers, because it's slower to melt the super fats too, that I go ahead uh, and put the super fats in. Here go, Bridget. Uh, wash that for me so it'll be fresh. Uh, I go ahead and just semi-stir 
the um, super fats in to the soap and I'm sure to blend well around the edges because that's where the heat source is. And then I just, once it is completely into soap and it's been in soap for at least 30 minutes, well blended, there's no possible chance that there's any gel in here because the gel will react to the super fats and the soap will act funny if you put super fats in when it is in gel because then your super fats will react with the lye. It's before the lye is dead. All right, so now I'm gonna let that cook the rest of the way and slowly incorporate the super fats. Okay, so this is our cedar wood and tea tree soap. I sell a lot of this soap. I'm very thankful <clears throat> to be able to uh, sell a lot of this soap. Uh, people can wash their animals with this soap or themselves and it kills uh, fleas and ticks um, on your uh, you can uh, take a bath with this or the citronella soap after you've gotten out of the woods to make sure you don't have any critters on you lather up and leave it on you for five minutes with no water spraying on you leave the foam on you for five minutes make sure you get it in all the not make sure you get it in all the nooks and crannies and it will kill fleas and ticks on you or any kind of critter uh we call it mosquito uh, with the no sims some people call them chiggers we call them and um, evil itchy bugs. <laughs> it has been crawling around on you. Uh, it'll also kill head loss. Mm -hmm. And then use vinegar on your hair and soak your hair in vinegar. And then you can use the de knitting uh, comb to get the knits off. The vinegar uh, causes the knits to release from your hair. Same thing two tablespoons of tea tree per single batch. Then throw you in four tablespoons of cedar wood uh, and you're cooking with gas. Um, has a pleasant smell. This one is also good for hunters because it makes them smell like the woods um, because they're, um, you know, it makes them smell like a cedar tree. And so then the deers don't smell them as easy. It gets rid of your natural odor and the bugs ain't driving you crazy in the deer stands. Ain't that right, Philip? I guess. You guess? I should make it into a laundry soap. Yeah, make it into a laundry soap. I'm making that. What, Philip Morgan? I ain't done much deer hunting in a long time. Really? Mm. Had that time. Did they have deers in Texas? Yeah, seldomly here and there. It depends on where you're at in Texas. Because Texas pretty much has every environment you could think of. It That's has true. Wetlands, it has beaches, it has desert, and it has uh, grassy plains. Does yep. it have forests? And it has a mountain. Yeah, it has a mountainy region as well. It has mountains. Around San Antonio, there's a place called Bourne or Bourne. I think it's. Oh, Army. I gotta go get something. And, uh, okay, so I've got to where I use a big dipper with this soap. I have to watch my pouring skills. But it allows me to, to do this faster. My dad makes these wooden molds and I cover them with Gorilla, I use Gorilla Tape and the poly, plastic poly mailers, the biggest size that they sell the one I was buying. Um, if the camera got touched in any way, I'm very sorry. Oh, did you bump the camera? I tried really hard not to. I really uh, did. Uh, you can't be playing other things in here because they'll get me for, um... Yeah, I got it. Oh, it's a phone call. I thought he was playing music. It's like, you can't play music. They'll get me for, what is it? In copyright infringement. Copyright infringement, that's it. You wouldn't think they'd want the free advertising. <laughs> the free advertising. Well, you, I think you can do 15 seconds of any music like that, and it won't cause you any trouble. What do those people do that have the long videos with lots and lots of music in it? Well, there's certain songs that YouTube has permission to use, 
And, oh. and then, I think y'all can see, then I sit, and it's sort of a, a swirly pattern. I do it like that. And ta-da, take her away and hand me another mold. He makes these molds and he sells them and you can go to essential-soaps.com and uh, buy one. He makes this size which does 22 bars and he also does one that is I think 11 bars and if you don't want this bigger one, but the most expensive thing about making these is the hinges. So there's not a lot of different pro in the price because most of his expense is in these expensive hinges. And you have to put the same amount of hinges on a short one as you do a small one. So it really pays to go ahead and spend that extra little bit. There you go. Shall we show him the clean one that he brought in? Yeah, we'll do it though after I get this loaded up because we won't be able to pull it, we won't be able to show it well Over with here. the camera so close. Yeah, because he delivered one for, for mailing today or yesterday yeah. evening. I think this is all I'm going to be able to do with this thing now. I'll have to go back to the spoon. That little wooden board that's on there. Sometimes I need that and sometimes I don't. I'm just going to need that board a little bit. First, let me. Yep, you can see where it's not. Um, let me show you what we did. It's not completely full. Okay, so I'll stick the board here on the end and then push back a little bit. Now I still need a little bit more. So, and that looks like that will do it. Now, just need a little bit more to fill in all the holes. All right. And then I need a, a, a wash bag. Or a couple of paper towels, really. No, a wash rag will fit in there, a small one. And that's what I do is I just poke a rag in there. You get one. Small rag. All right, hang on. Let me finish the design. That was my grandma Rails dishcloth I, I bought out of the estate sale. One accidentally got carried down here. There we go. Hi everybody. So today I'm cutting the soap with mom's cutter, the Essential Depot cutter. And this is the one with the nice dip in the middle for extra large loaves. So let's see how we did. 
when you cut with this one, that bit off the end that's too long just falls down. You can just pick it up and keep on cutting. Oh, now that's a pretty bar. Look at that one. That one was nice. Ooh. See? They're very nice today. Oh, and this, of course, is our cedar wood and tea tree soap. Everybody just loves it. Mm, smells so good. It's great for dogs, great for people or hunters, just whatever. Isn't that nice? All right. Well, this is our beautiful cedar wooden tea tree. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. We hope you enjoyed that video. I'm oh. tired. I'm tired. It was a long day. It was a long day. Lots of soap. Lots of soap making. And she's an awesome soap helper. Mm. All right, so we've made lots of soap. Now, we technically haven't cut it yet. Mm. So we're really lying to you right here when we say, wasn't it beautiful, all the cut soap you just saw? Because <laughs> it won't happen until tomorrow. But we're just going to go ahead and do it now. <laughs> we're going to go, wasn't it awesome? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Bridget will cut it tomorrow and post the videos. That's right. We I'm gonna violently try again for a cut video. Oh, wish me luck. But the, but I, so thank you so much for watching the commercials. It really helps me out. Thank you for using my Central Depot link. It so helps me out. It's in the description. And thank you for helping Digger Dave. And I hope that this video is not too long that I can't stick the the Digger Dave video on the end because he's going around the country and he's not been at his house for like 180 something days. He's traveling and he's getting up money to for the rays of sunshine. So I'm asking everybody that can, I don't care if it's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. If you can give a hundred, give a hundred, but please help Digger Dan. He really needs your help for the rays of sunshine children that are critically ill or dying so that they can have a wish. All right, bye everybody. Say bye. Bye. Hey, hey everybody. everybody, I'm Kimberly and this is Bridget and we are Essential Soap and we have been doing what? We've been making soap. We've been making soap and we've been making the salty, tingly peppermint and, and the uh, restful lavender. And while we were making it, we was watching us some Digger Dan, wasn't we? Mm -hmm. We got our giggles on so bad. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we thought to ourselves, it is time we made a donation, right? That's right. And so high five. We made a donation to help support the rays of sunshine. The Rays of Sunshine, Deep Digger Dan's charity. Yeah. And also, we just wanted to say hi to... Deep Digger Dan, Deep Digger Dan, and let you know that we love you. And we want to tell everybody out there, just go to YouTube and search for Deep Digger Dan, mm -hmm. and then click on a video and get in the links and help, some make, help make a child's life better. And by supporting Rays of Sunshine Charity through Deep Digger Dan. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.